So uh, we have Ben, otherwise known as Radical Face, with us. Ben, how are you? I'm pretty good, how are well, you? Very good, thank you. Welcome to Secret Sessions, firstly. Thank you for having me. And uh, also, welcome to London. Are you, do you get to come here a lot, London? No, I've been here once before, like two or three years ago. Yeah? And was that uh, for, for me to, to perform, play music? Yeah, just play one show and then we left, so we were only here like a day or two. Okay. And you're here as well today, we're in the, uh, I mean, it's a stunning venue, the Union Chapel. Yeah. Uh, and you sold it out as well. How, did, how does that feel? I did it. Um. You, did, you did it. You've conquered London. <laughs> but it's, uh, but it's, how does it feel being out there? Because obviously we're, we're, we're backstage now. Uh, it's a little bit nippy. We've been talking about that. A little bit. But um, it's such an incredible venue. How do you feel performing out there? It's a little intimidating, actually. And I'm not intimidated by venues, but I've never played somewhere this pretty. So Really? Yeah. So I'll try not to ruin it but I'm sure you're not going to ruin it I'm sure. I wouldn't say that <laughs> uh, you performed a couple of tracks for us uh, first up tell us about the, the cover you chose to perform oh um, I don't know we, we were kind of joking with it at practice once and I, was, I kind of started to like it and then last night when they said if we could do a cover we arranged it at 3am and gave it a whirl so I, I like it though I think I'm going to add it to the set yeah? Yeah, I think so. And is there anything particularly about the, the songs or the lyrics that resonate at all with you? Or is it just that, you know, this, this kind of such a big song? Well, it's really, actually, the only reason I heard it is because the drummer in our group hates it so much. Okay. And, and I listened to it to see what he's talking about, and then I liked it. And so I keep listening to it. This is all very recently, and then I was joking at practice, and yeah. So if we watch that video carefully back, we can see the drummer in the background just looking very mean and Yeah, angry. he's probably so like, oh, yeah. I can't believe I'm going to do this again. And I've been up till 3 a.m. Trying, <laughs> trying to learn this song. Uh, what about, what about the, the other track you performed? Oh, um, that's just a song off the new record uh, that came out, I think, a week ago. Maybe. What's today? Today is, oh wow, you're testing me now. It's a Tuesday. Tuesday the 12th. We get. Way. Excellent. Okay. Tuesday the 12th. Oh, okay. Then, yeah, I think it came out like a week ago. Okay. And yeah, it's um, just a new song. I don't know. What would you like to know about it? What's, what's, <laughs> the, what's the theme behind it? Firstly, what was the title of the song? Oh, it's called Holy Branches. And um, a lot of my songs are actually probably a lot more negative than they sound musically. Right. But uh, this one is just sort of about being. Um, ostracized or rejected, I guess. Okay. And does it, uh, obviously, the, the, the title of your, your record, Branches, Let, let's talk about this now, because cause, cause the record is, is part of a, a trilogy yeah. uh, called The Family Tree. Mm -hmm. So this is the, the second uh, in, in the trilogy, the first one being Roots. Yeah. Uh, explain the idea then behind this, this, this family tree oh, idea. Okay. Well, once upon a time, I wanted to be a writer, and I actually wrote two books when I was 19, and then I had never backed them up, I didn't know a lot about computers, and so my computer crashed and I lost them both, yeah. um, which is actually why I'm a musician now. Um, but I've wanted to write really? a... Was that, sorry, was that, was that the reason why you then decided to, to check? Was it because it was... Oh yeah, I was losing like, that material. I was traumatized. I actually, yeah. like, I I took my computer outside and I broke it with a hammer. <laughs> really? Yeah, it was pretty upsetting. Wow. Um, and then I'd been in bands in high school, but I wasn't super into it until that happened. And then I got into recording, and I've been doing it since. Um, but I've always wanted to write like a family saga. I'm one of ten kids, so okay. family is kind of a big thing for me, and I've. I like a lot of books, like, you know, 100 Years of Solitude and stuff like that, that's just based on multiple generations. So I started writing this record, but I, I originally thought it'd be one album, and when I sat down to look at all the stuff I'd written, I had like over 40 songs, so I figured I'd make a trilogy and be a dork about it. And, uh, and so the story then, then that, that it's about then, this story that you've written, is it based on your immediate family? Or is it based on the tree that, because that, 10 siblings obviously, uh, that can spawn into quite a, a, a large tree. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, uh, well, so it's partly uh, fiction and fantasy, because I just like that a lot. Um, some of it's based on, yes, my actual family stuff, but that's more hidden. Um, people who know me could pick it out, but I don't think anyone else would. Okay. And then I also looked up a genealogy chart of just a random family, um, found one that went back 200 years. Oh, wow. and found some of their stories. So it's kind of cobbled together from a lot of stuff. Um, 
I like history a lot too, so I just kind of mashed them all together. And are all the tracks, uh, they're all about this? There's, there's no track on there that you just put in because it's about something totally different? It's, it's no. All, it's, it's all, all focused on this, theme dedicated to the cause. And each one's like, the first one's 1800 to 1860, and the second one's like 1860 to 1910. And so that's, on, that's on Roots? Yeah, roots the, the Roots is the first chunk. So it, yeah, it covers about 50, 60 years of record. And you've mentioned as well with, with, uh, with this, it, you've progressed in the production because you've been using instruments it, from the second part of that period, from yeah. uh, 1860 to 1910. What instruments are these, firstly? Um, well, some of it's more like representative, like electricity is becoming more prominent, so I'm using electric guitars. Okay. And things like uh, factories are becoming a uh, much larger part of major cities and so I'm using a lot of metal sounds and stuff on this record and um, so a lot of times it's it's not super literal but or it hasn't been on this next record in the last record I'll use whatever I want okay so but yeah I want the, pr the production is supposed to get gradually more modern as it goes okay Oh, I like that idea. And uh, with 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 the uh, with the first record, you were you, you self released it, mm -hmm. and uh, now there's a lot more attention around you, and you 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 you're, you're signed to a label. Uh, has that changed as well? How you're recording the songs, Is it, or are you still doing it exactly the same way? No, I'm kind of conditioned. I work in a tool shed behind my mom's house and in my living room, and okay. I've been working there for ten years, and I've. That's kind of the only way I can do it now. I've tried to work in studios, and I actually went in one for two weeks, and when I came home, I deleted all of it and started over. Really? It. Yeah, so at this point, um, no, it hasn't affected the, the process in any way. It's just now I'm not having to mail everything out of my house anymore. That's yeah. probably the biggest difference. And whereabouts are we as well with the, I suppose, the third record? I suppose if it's the, the third in the trilogy, trilogy, is it all written now? Is it yeah. just a case of getting it recorded, or is it even, mm -hmm. have you even recorded it? I've recorded some of it. I have a feeling, though, like before I started this record, I had five songs done. But when I came to actually do the final versions, I, did, I scrapped them all and started over. So I've recorded four songs for the new one, but I, I don't think I'm going to keep them. I think I'm going to redo them. I'm kind of obsessive like that. I, like one song on this record, I retract eight times. Really? Yeah, like I would finish oh. it, delete it, start over until I got it right. Really? Yeah. And what was it about? What was it that you were picking up? Was it just a, a feeling, I suppose, with the record? Is it just something that you couldn't quite put your finger on? Yeah, I'm real particular about just mood. And mm. sometimes it's like I have something in my head where I'm trying to be like, I remember this feeling when I was eight years old and the one time it snowed in Florida in my whole lifetime. And I was like, I remember that day really clearly. I want the music to feel like that. Yeah. And so I get into really specific stuff. I can't believe like it that. snowed in Florida. Has it snowed in Florida? 1989 was the last time. Really? Yeah. And by snow, I mean, there was a bunch of wet brown stuff on the ground. But <laughs> okay. it was snow. It's technically snow. We were right. very excited. But it's just stuff like that. I try to, I don't know, I usually have very specific moods and I'm trying to get them across. And I'll just redo it until it feels like that exact thing. Or as close as I can get. Sometimes I have to give up. Amazing. You don't strike me as someone that gives up easily, though. No, I'm stubborn. Um, yeah, I, I mean, after that one, I, I said that this is the last version because on number eight, I just I hated the song at that point. <laughs> so I'm glad I got it. Yeah. And we'll never have to do it again. <laughs> uh, and uh, the, the 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 third record as well. This is just out of curiosity. Is is that so? We've got roots, branches, leaves. Yeah. Hey. hey. <laughs> Good stuff. <laughs> um, uh, will you ever go back to, to writing, do you think, when, when you feel so sort because of, obviously you're going to complete this trilogy and you're, doing, uh, you're very successful as a musician and you're getting to play the world now. Um, do you think you'll ever go back and think about writing a novel? Yeah, it's one of those things I want to do before I'm dead. So uh, I think, I don't know, I'm not there yet, but I'm getting back to it. Mm -hmm. I've been writing short stories again, so I think maybe in a couple of years I'll start it. I have a book. It's been in my head for eight years, so yeah, I know what I want to write. Whenever, I guess it's not. It's not the same book that you that was was. Um, oh no, that was garbage. I was, <laughs> I was nineteen. Like I'm sure it was horrible. Um, it meant a lot at the time, but yeah, I'm sure it was awful. Um, no, I'll never go back to that book. That thing go to hell. Remember to back things up on a hard drive. I will. Oh no, I'm obsessive now. My records are like okay. nine places. You'd have to burn down my house and my mom's house in order to get all of it. Okay. And please don't do that. Don't do that. No. When I was a kid, 
the house that we grew up in had no heating, no central heating or fireplace or anything. So during winter, we had um, space heaters, the kind that you plug in, and they uh, kind of dim the lights that, of your house, that they take so much power. And we especially kept them in the bathroom. And um, whenever I got out of the tub, I used to like flicking water at them because I liked the sound that it made. And one time I had dried off before I did this. So in my eight-year-old brain, I was like, I'll just pee in the space heater. That, that's water too. <laughs> And it smelled like a dead rat, and my mom thought a rat died in the walls for two weeks, and everyone kept turning it on, and I felt guiltier and guiltier until I broke down, and I said, it was me, just throw the space heater away, I peed in it, I'm so sorry. <laughs> and my mom was so disappointed. She wasn't even mad, she was just like, where did I go wrong? <laughs> and so, there, you can know that about me. Kissing in the blue dark, playing bull and wild darts, video games. He holds me in his big arms, drunk.